and the Sangha and then we get the blessings and start the new year. So dear children, this is our tradition and I really appreciate all of you came here today and uh, with your parents and participating to this uh, ceremony. So when it comes to life, so the very important, the very first rule that you always have to remember, sometimes we hear, this, uh, we hear people say, oh, this is my life, I do whatever I want. But if you look very carefully, this life is belong to time. When the time change, when the time pass, you have no choice. You have to accept whatever come to your life. So, when the new year come, it give for all of us. It give a great opportunity to renew ourselves, start a new beginning. And as you know, this, uh, most of the time now you use uh, this uh, cell phone, computer, and uh, iPad, iPhone, this everything. And as you know, once a while it upgrade. You know, the system need to upgrade. Huh? And when you upgrade, sometimes you delete old files, old system. You know? Sometimes it gives you a warning. Once you update, you can't go back to the, the old version. Mm -hmm. So, the life the same. So the new year is kind of like the moment you try to now upgrade your system. Mm -hmm. You're going to get a new version. See, this is not only the nature, not only the calendar upgrade. You know, not only your cell phone, not only your computer, not only your TV upgrade. You know, so you also have to upgrade. You also have to become a better person day by day. So New Year is the day. It gives an opportunity for you to, to bring that upgrade. So as you know, if the cell phone or the computer or iPad when you upgrade, now they always ask, you know, connected to the power. No? Before you upgrade it, you have to connect it to the power. Hmm? So like that, when you upgrade your life, you have to connect it to something. Okay? So remember that. Without that, you can't upgrade your life. So that power you need to connect is called gratitude. You know, you always have to appreciate. You have to look back your 2022 and you have to appreciate your parents, your brothers, sisters, your the place that you work, your co-workers, you know, and uh, all other people around you, whoever help for you. So you have to first appreciate them. Because without appreciation, if you try to upgrade, if you become a better person, it's not going to work. No? So that's why always remember, this is a moment we sit here like this, and we first we have to appreciate all the people around us. Why? So the first rule is, time belong, the, the life belongs to the time. Okay, that is the first rule. The second rule that always you have to remember, your life happened because of other people, not because of you. No? So that's why you have to have the gratitude. Always you have to remember, think about other people. And with that you have to appreciate and you have to upgrade. So this is the challenge that I give to each and everyone today. Okay? So now you sit here like this. This is 2023. And you, as you know, it's going to become 2024, 25, 20. It's always going to become more high, getting a higher, bigger number. You know, it's not going to go a lower number. So then, 
as husband wife children parents brothers sisters friends and family members and you sit here like this today and within another year we going to meet like this no we going to celebrate uh, the 2024 within another 365 years after 300 Uh, 365 days. So then, can you be a more better person, and can you bring more love or the compassion or the the empathy regarding other person better than this moment? That is the challenge. Because sometimes we see the very good people, very friendly people. We saw. from the beginning of 2022 but end of the 2022 they became enemies you know and they were they you know they they just you know disappeared then so then can you can you guarantee yourself when you become better person the end of 2023 can you be a more better person with the people here with you now and especially with your family members brothers sisters and your loved ones not 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 about unknown people so that is very important for you because without that how you can make this life happen so then always remember every day the life is a challenge so we do this all the meritorious activities don't think that life going to become easy no life become more harder why because you become more old older and the life going to become more harder for you but when the life become more harder you have to have more wisdom more you have to have more strength courage so out of the blessings that is what you gain so in that way when the life become more harder you become more stronger you become more better and then you can overcome that difficulties so that is how it works so then it is your responsibility don't look for easy path don't don't look for easy ways no yourself you try to become a better person and that way things you can handle better than today and as all of you know people not going to change and now you you know the people around you they not going to change and they may be not going to listen whatever we say but it is a opportunity for yourself to become more strong a person because we all look for happiness and satisfaction when it come to happiness and satisfaction it never going to happen without self development so self development means you have to develop yourself so when it come to the buddha's teaching the one of the major important thing what the buddha said that we have to purify our mind without purifying our mind there is no way we can develop ourselves so when it come to purify our mind means you always have to see this end of 2022 so whatever the difficulties that you have you went through life and then if you keep continue the same kind of lifestyle end of 2023 you going to experience the same kind of difficulties so then always remember purify your mind and get out of this all the the improfitable skills and always develop some kind of profitable skills in within you so that way you can become more better person inside you so when it come to our day to day life and there is a very big challenge nowadays the one of the thing is that we spend so much time for unnecessary things so then you are always have to remember without this machines technology without this gadgetics we can't live nowadays 
no we have to live with that but at the same time you have to remember you have to be a better person than the machines if the machines become better than uh, machines become better than you one day what will happen you always need to go behind the machine and then you become a debtor and so then you yourself you if you become a better person than the machine and then whatever the the technology or the science become developed in the world it is it's not a problem for us but what is happening now little by little we slowly lose our abilities ourselves and the machines become more better than us so that will bring the unhappiness sadness worry disappointment to ourselves so that's why with this 2023 or oh, remember yourself to be a better person than the machines how you can become a better person than the machines you have to always develop the awareness so it is called mindfulness always remember to be mindful keep your attention with you don't lose your attention because if you lose your attention then whatever you do it not going to become successful so that is why this kind of activities help us to remind ourselves remember ourselves how to maintain our life without having any difficulty so in that way end of the time end of the day end of the week end of the month end of the year you will be more better person day by day day by day day by day so otherwise if you not going to grow with that if you just keep doing the same thing again and again and again if you stay within your comfort zone without changing your life without growing yourself and you're not going to make a life you just live a life and you will die but it not going to bring any experience to yourself and it not going to bring any kind of profit to this world so then everyone need to bring the the abilities to yourself and develop your creativity and become more better people day by day day by day. so when it come to that buddha mentioned four pillars to build up your happiness and satisfaction so like this chair has four legs and as you see most of the table have four legs and so these four pillars will bring the the day to day happiness and satisfaction so one of the important thing is akti sukha so that's mean you always have to be happy uh, with whatever you have we call contentment so without complaining without become unhappy without asking more 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 first thing is you have to be happy with what you have so that is one of the important thing in every day you have to do it within whatever the the, the life that you have and in if you are capable to develop that within yourself so by the time you develop the happiness inside you another thing is you have to be smart to get the best out of that whatever you have because we have a lot of things and sometimes we don't use it and we even we don't know we have it so that's why most of people in uh, once a while they put the they, they have this uh, garage sale and sometimes when you go to garage sale you see that they have uh, different items and they maybe the the box even never open and it is there and they say oh i i didn't open even i don't know how it is so i never knew it was in my house when i start to clean i saw it so like that there are a lot of things around us and there are a lot of things within us maybe we never saw there are a lot of skills inside us there are a lot of abilities within us but we never saw and sometimes we die with our skills so then always remember with this material world 
use things, get the best out of it. And at the same time, as a human being, this is the, the highest that you have in this existence. So, use your human life and get all the skills that you carry within yourself and become a better person. And Anana Sukha, and at the same time you have to be, a, uh, not to be a debtor, not to depend too much from other things. And you have to find the freedom inside, and the physically and materially you have to find the freedom from this world. When you become alone yourself, it should, should not be kind of like a unhappiness or the sadness or the worry or the disappointment bring inside you. So you have to have a very sustainable life within yourself. That is very important because most of the time we are interfering and engaging with others by the time what will happen we can't handle our life ourselves. So that's why at least five minutes every day. Just close your eyes and detach your ears from the sound and uh, don't uh, have any communication with others. Just keep, keep silence and stay yourself. So at least try five minutes. That's enough for you by the time. Then you will see just being yourself bring a kind of like a deeper comfort and satisfaction inside you. So that is very necessary. Otherwise we always go behind something and it's not going to end. So, and the, the, the next one is called Anavajya Sukha. So Anavajya means you have to maintain your life without disturbing to others. So never allow anyone to complain about you. So that is very important as brothers, sisters, friends and family members, as husband, wife, so as neighbors, don't allow anyone to complain about you. So in that way, you will have a life, you share your life, you care about others. So that is very important. So in this new year, always remember to build up your life with this Four pillars. So that way, end of 2023, you will be a more better person. The next version of you going to become more stronger. So when you become stronger, whatever the difficulties come to your life, you can handle it with uh, some kind of wisdom. So otherwise, if you have just a life, then what will happen? Every day you may complain become unhappy, sad, worry, disappointed. So that's why the Buddha mentioned this. This is coming Dharma. So you need to listen to Dharma. You know why you need to listen to Dharma? Sometimes, because nowadays, most of people listen to their own mind, they don't like to listen to the Dharma. Don't believe your own mind. Because your own thoughts can disturb you. Your own thoughts can give a hard time to you. And sometimes it is not real. You know, it can bounce back. It can kind of like, uh, your own thoughts can become like a poison to yourself. So then be very careful. Because otherwise, it can give a hard time to yourself. When you have a hard time inside you, and you unknowingly you give a hard time to other people, so you should not have a life like that. So when you listen to the Dharma, what will happen? You are capable to understand there is something beyond your thoughts. There is something beyond what you think. There is something beyond what you heard. There is something beyond what you see. If you know that, if you have that wisdom, what will happen? You become more careful, not about outside world. Nowadays we are so careful about outside world, but we are don't care about our inside. But what the Buddha said, don't care about the outside. No, don't worry about the outside. Be careful about your inside. So that way what will happen, 
you will see your mind you will understand your mind and at the same time you will see there is something beyond what you experience so if you are capable to get that so by the time what will happen you are capable to become more better person day by day day by day and why i say that look this is 2023 and we have so much wisdom and you have we have so much information and we have so much higher technology but still remember sometimes that uh, recently that uh, the guy who suicide the elan so the the elan the, the show that the black guy you know see he was so happy you know dancing and you know happy with everybody you know but see and no one know why he suicide no so that that mean what that mean that maybe you see yourself on the the mirror you know and everybody see the person oh he is look happy he is look nice he look big but no one knows what is happening inside you know so then you have to be very careful you know so it is your own responsibility to look into yourself and see what is happening inside you so that is why the dharma help for you so that's why you need to listen to the dharma that's why you need to come to temple and do this kind of activities some once a while and that's why you have to practice little bit meditation and that's why once a while you have to read a book so i hope in this new year you will keep developing yourself and gaining new knowledge opening your mind little bit and seeing there is something more higher than what you experience so if you are capable to to gain that little by little little by little you will experience more higher more better life for yourself and that way what will happen you are capable to give it as a gift to other people you are capable to share it to other people because you can share only what you have what you don't have you can't share so then if you have a more wisdom or the the peace or the calmness happiness in you you are capable to share it with others so then i hope in this 2023 you are take care you will take care yourself and will become a better person and looking inside and once you become a better person you are capable to share it with others so end of this 2023 i hope you will experience more higher more better life so i wish upon each and everyone in this new year may no harm come to you may no difficulties come to you may no problems come to you may you also have the patience courage understanding and determination to meet and overcome inevitable difficulties in your life may all your guardian angels and deities will receive this merit and increase their alone need and protect of you from any kind of planetary influences so any ill effects please say sadhu sadhu oda yena kavu kalpana karaganna me vilave di adha hama dinam itam shabdhaving me vasara gevila vasara kudavnu mohate vyarastane te paminila me hama dina samagame ekarasi vila utum buddharatne dhammaratne sangaratne aashirvade aaraksha labagana me उदाहरण नौ वासर दिदास विषितुन नौ वासर हेम दिनाटम सपत सतुन सौभाग्य सपुरुनु वासनावंत सुब नौ वासर क्वेवा केन आशीर्वाद दे अपि मे वेलावे दि सिद्ध करनवा अनुराध पुरोड मालवे महामेवनावे विजय श्री जय श्री मा बोधि महंसे के आशीर्वाद दे सिंकडगलपुर महानोर दलदा मालिकावे श्री दंत दातुन महंसे के आशीर्वाद दे आशीर्वादेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदे
मैं वासर पूरा वट में आने न गामन भी मन करना कि यह नसीतन पातन यहाँ पर पैड़ काटी है तुष्याल सर्व प्रकार इन सार तक ये वा मिलो वासिंग हम दिनात सपत सतुर साउभाग के निरोग संपत्ति है तुम्हे वा मैं उदावन वासर खाटा तमतमंगे प्रार्थना वं इष्ट सिद्ध वे न यहाँ पर सुबह नावा सरक वे वा कि Please say Namotas Bhagavato Radho three times. Bhuttam Saranam Gacchami Dhammam Saranam Gacchami Sangam Saranam Gacchami Bhutiyam Pi Buddham Saranam Gacchami Bhutiyam Pi Dhammam Saranam Gacchami Bhutiyam pe sangam saranam gachami Tatiyam pe buddham saranam gachami Tatiyam pe dhamman saranam gachami Tatiyam pe sangam saranam gachami Vāna tipātā vērmani sikkā padaṁ samādhyāmi Adinnā dāna vērmani sikkā padaṁ samādhyāmi Kāme sumikcha chārā vērmani Sikha padang samadhyami Musavada vermani Sikha padang samadhyami Surabhira majjapama Tana vermani Sikha padam samadhyami Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu We all together recite gathas Keep your palms together please and close your eyes Namo tas bhagavato arato samma sambuddhas Namo tas bhagavato arato samma sambuddhas Namo tas bhagavato arato samma sambuddhas Iti piso bhagava arham samma sambuddho Vidya karana sampanno sugato loka Anuttaro purisa dhamma sarati sakta deva manus Buddha Bhagavati Swakato Bhagavata Dhammo Sandhikdiko Akanyo Ehi Pasiko Banaiko Pachyatam Medi Vinyo Hi Supati Panno Bhagavato Sāna 
seen unseen, known unknown, all living beings in this universe somehow help us to have this life. So as paying our gratitude, we take a moment to be silent and uh, develop loving kindness meditation within us. So keep your back straight, neck get straight in one line. If it is possible, you can keep your right palm on your left and gently close your eyes. So now you can bring your attention to your body. Just circle down yourself. So first of all, appreciate yourself. You have this moment, your health, and your life, your wisdom, help you to, to experience this moment. It is not the past or the future going to help for you. You are always going to be with your present moment. So this is your present moment. Just appreciate it. So following my words, mentally, you can repeat after me. May I be well and happy. May I be well and happy. May I be well and happy. May no harm come to me. May no difficulties come to me. May no problems come to me. May I be well and happy. May my parents May my grandparents, may my brothers, sisters, may my teachers, may my relatives, may my friends, may my neighbors be well and happy. May all living beings be well and happy. May no harm come to them. May no difficulties come to them. May no problems come to them. May all living beings be well and happy. May I be well and happy. May all living beings be well and happy. May I be well and happy. May all living beings be well and happy. May I be well and happy. May all living beings be well and happy. So now gently bring your attention to in front of your nose and your upper lip area. Just allow your inhalations and exhalations happen itself. And when it happens, 
just recognize yourself. Inhalations as inhalations, exhalations as exhalations. So do nothing extra. Don't try to do anything, just allow it to happen itself. Just experience. And determine yourself with this calm, relaxed, comfortable mind in this 2023 each and every day I become more comp compassion I become more calm I become more relaxed And I become more mindful with my own life. I take care of others. I help others. I listen to others. I open my heart to all living beings. Please say sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. So dear devotees, in this uh, new year, I hope you all will get the best out of your own life. And there is nothing that uh, you can gain from outside. All inside you, and uh, it is your opportunity, and it is your time to find what you have within yourself. So, and at the same time, we have to appreciate ourselves, and we have to appreciate this moment because this is the the first time we meet like this here. And this is going to be the, the last time we going we meet like this here. And there is no repetition like this. More. And if we meet again, it's going to be a completely different moment. So then, when it comes to this moment, we have to appreciate that our previous moments that we went through, so especially I would like to, to transfer the merits to all your past relatives and all our past devotees related to this place, whoever helped for us through this journey, wherever they are, may they be able to gain these merits. If they are living in a low existence, may they be able to attain to high existence. If they are living in a high existence, May they be able to attain supreme bliss of Nibbana. Please say sadhu. Also may all our guardian angels and deities will receive this merits and increase their longevity and protect all of you from any kind of planetary influences or any ill effects. And at the same time, I would like to 
to bless upon our Indra Nona and Dakshin Mahatma and also their family Dil and Noishi. Because of that family, we have this place. Otherwise, we are not going to meet like this. And we are developing a new temple and meditation center in Acton area. And still it uh, has to do a lot of work there. And uh, but so, from this place, we somehow able to maintain that place and developing that place. From the beginning, this place, Indra Pereira Noran, Dakshina Pereira Mahatma, so they are the one who helped me, no one else. So in the beginning, and for all the yoga classes, and they are the one who took the prize because I never knew this area. And both of them, every Saturday and Sunday, came here and took the flyers and, and went around all the, uh, the, the, the market places and went to some even Sri Lankan places, Sri Lankan shops and the market. And some Sri Lankan people told they can't uh, show that flyers. So like that, but somehow we able to develop this place as every day I pay my sincere gratitude on behalf of all our students and on behalf of all our devotees to our Indra Nona and Dakshina Mahatma and Dil and Paishi. Okay? And, uh, and at the same time, from that day to today, all our devotees and uh, they are small donations and uh, they are they, they are small sacrifice, build this place, not me. So myself, I just stay here and uh, help for each and everyone. And uh, during this time period, and uh, most of our students, and they help as much as they can. So everyone can be happy yourself that you helping not for me, you're helping to this community, these children and uh, whoever come here and uh, practice little bit and uh, change their life and uh, you become a part of it, not me. So, it's it, you are the one who gaining these merits. So, today I bless upon all our students and I know they have done a lot of things to this place and they, they help me a lot. So I bless upon all my students and whoever help for us and all our devotees help me from different, different ways. So now you can be happy. So to end of this 2022 and beginning of the 2023, and you have seen how we practice and how we share our wisdom and how we give our service to to each and everyone. So always remember you are the one who going to get the benefit out of it and that all blessings come to all of you. And at the same time I will bless all our devotees and uh, whoever you far away because now we do our uh, Zoom meeting and uh, the online that uh, YouTube channel and uh, seeing that and sometimes they send uh, small donations it help us a lot and uh, so that's how we run this place and that's how we build up our other place and so I hope in the future we can make that place a more better place for each and everyone to to come and sit and practice more. Uh, properly, so and with that, I bless upon each and every one in this new year. May all the success and happiness be upon you. May no harm come to you, may no difficulties come to you, may no problems come to you. May each and every one stay healthy and safe.
So we are going to transfer the merits to all the, the deities and the, our past relatives. Itta ta chami sampadam punya sabbe deva mohodam tu sabbe sampati sibhya itta vata chami sampadam punya sabbe bhuta mohodam tu sabbe sampati sibhya itta vata chami sampadam punya Sabbe Satta Mumodam Tu Sabbe Sampati Siddhi Aidam Me Nyati Nango Tu Sukita Hon Tu Idam Me Nyati Nango Tu Sukita Hon Tu Nyato Yo Idam Me Nyati Nango Tu Sukita Hon Tu Nyato Yo Akasatta Chak Deva Naka Maitvika Punyantang Anumoditva Chiranga Kantusa Aka Sakta Chabumata Deva Naka Maitvika Punyantang Anumoditva Chiranga Kantudesanang Aka Sakta Chabumata Deva Naka Maitvika Punyantang Anumodikva Chirang Rakkam Tutang Sada Imina Punyakam Mena Mame Bhava Satang Samagamo Doya Vanipana Bhaktiya Imina Punyakam Mame Bala Samagamo Satan Samagamo Doya Vanipana Imina Punya Kamena Mame Bala Samagamo Satan Samagamo Doya Vanipana Bhaktiya Sadhu 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 so now I'm going to do the chanting and bless upon each and everyone. And you can determine yourself and have one single goal. Not many hopes or many goals regarding this 2023. End of this year, how are you going to change your life? What you want to achieve? So determine yourself and close your eyes. And I'm going to bless upon each and everyone. If you have a very single clear goal, 100% sure you're going to get it. So it is your responsibility now to so have one single goal and determine. It's like now you're going to rub your genie, the, the, the lamp and the genie going to come and ask what you want. So you have to ask only one thing. You can't look here and there and you can't think. So you have to have a determination yourself and clear goal, clear vision regarding your own life, not about others, just about you and how you are going to end this 2023. May your hope, may your goal be successful. Namo Dasa Bhagavato Rato Samma Sambuddhasa Siri Diti Mati Te Jo Jaya Siddhi Maiti Mahakunang Aparimita Punya Adhikarasa Sambandaraya Nivarana Samadhasa Bhagavato Arato Samma Sambuddha Sadvatin Samaha Purisa Lakkana Nubhavena Asitya Nubhyanjana Lakkana Nubhavena Atuttara Sata Mangala Lakkana Nubhavena Jambyanaran Jhanu Bhavena Ketu Malanu Bhavena Tata Paramitanu Bhavena Dasaupa Paramitanu Bhavena Tata Paramatta Paramitanu Bhavena Dila Samadhi Panyanu Bhavena Buddha Nu Bhavena Dhamma Nu Bhavena Sangha Nu Bhavena Teja Nu Bhavena Idhyanu bhavena, balanu bhavena, nyeyadamma nu bhavena, 
चतुरादी दिदास्कुन नवलोकोत्तर दुभावेन अट्टिकुभावेन अट्ट सामुभावेन जलभिन्नाभावेन चतुसाचाभावेन मेत्ता करुणा मुदिता उपेक्षाभावेन सबारितावेन रतन सरनाभावेन तुय्यांसोग सोग उपद्रव दुख दोम सुना सब संकपा दुहं समिजंतु दी गायुको तु सतवस जीवेन समंगिको तु सबदा आकाश पपत वन भूमि तटाक गंगा मा समुद्रक देवता सदा तुम्हें अनुरक्कं तु सब बुद्धा अनुभावेन सब दुभावेन सब संघानुभावेन बुद्ध रतन दम रतन संघ रतन तीन रतन अनुभावेन चतुरादिदासुभावेन मिटकायाभावेन जिन सावकाभावेन जिन शासनाभावेन सभ्यते रोग सभ्यते भया सभ्यते अंतरा सभ्यते उपद्रवा सभ्यते दुनिमित्ता सभ्यते अवमंगला विनसंतु आयु वो धन वो सिरी वो यस वो बल वो वन वो सुख वो तु सबदा दुख रोग बेरा शोका सपे उपद्रवाने का तेज साय सिद्धि लाभ सत्ति भाग्य सुखम बल सिरियायु वनोच भोग सतवसाच जीव सिद्धि भवंतुते प्लीज रिपीट आफ्टर मी इदम मे पुण्यं मे पिन आसवक्या वांगोतु निवांशु पिनिसम हेतुवेवा वासनावेवा बुद्धिरुवन पीटाई सदा हम रुवन पीटाई संगरुवन पीटाई सदा मटतुनुरुवन पीटाई अभिवादन सिरिस निचंगवता बचाइनो चतारो दम्मा वड्डंती आयुवानो सुकम आयुरारोग्य संपत्ति सक्त संपत्ति मेवच अतो निबान संपत्ति मिनाते समिज्जतु। Okay, now everyone can make a line and then come here and uh, you can get the the blessings, water and blessings.